Hello and welcome. I am Gary and Reaver and this is Dead Island Definitive Edition. So I've not played Definitive, I've played the original. The fun I like to have in this game is by role-playing a professional zombie hunter who is on holiday. Oh god, that's so sensitive. Hello, room service. I'm just going to steal money from passing strangers. My job doesn't pay amazingly well. It's more of a, you know, public service type job. Where is everybody? Last time I tried to loot the place, everyone was around. It's like, oh, what are you doing in my room? Get out. Are you the escort? And then I slapped him. But, you know, I was in his room stealing his stuff. So that's me. Beautiful views is why I came here. Where is everybody else? I wanted to get a... Oh. Um, that isn't something I like to see when I'm on holiday. You know, there are certain... There's fire there. There are certain places you can go for that sort of thing, but, you know... Can't hurt to look. I've never been into that kind of holiday. Call me weird, but I'd like there to be less death on my holiday than in my real job. Wait, what? Uh, now, mate. Right. Right I. Two things. First of all, where's the hatch I came in? Because if you remember, I came in to, through a hatch in the ceiling, and that's what caused it. Secondly, why is the lift so tiny? I mean, I know the uh, the door is like raised, but it's like I can't jump in here. You can always jump in a lift. So you freak people out. What? I don't need some Australian accented yobbo telling me how to survive in a war torn environment. It's one of the things I need the least guidance on. I'm a professional. Hello? I'm a professional. I'm on holiday. Those things came for us and Sinemoy went out to kill them alone. Well, it sounds like he's either a professional or an idiot. Or a professional dead? idiot. I'm just guessing your name from the floating thing over your head. I'm just going to take the energy drink and just down it, apparently. Not what I expected to do. Uh-huh. And uh, who saved your life? Janine. Janine? G9. G9. <gasps> She's the missing bloody uh, clone from um, Far Wind. Well, just kidding. Hey, oh, how's it going? He's gonna die alone, scared and bloody. I'm a professional, can't you tell? Break their heads! Yes. The only way to kill him. Yeah, I understand. I am a professional. Hello. This one's still standing. That's the last <laughs> Look one. Look how unfazed okay. I am. Oh. Nice. You see, I'm a professional zombie hunter. I get hired by governments and paranoid people to quell zombie infections. And I was like, well, I've been at this now for a while. I'm kind of bored. I think I need a break. I'm getting, like, disillusioned with zombie killing because it's always the same. And, uh, I thought, yep, I am going to go on holiday to Banoi. Because I've heard good things about Banoi. There's a portal there. Or maybe that can take me somewhere better. Uh, I've heard good things about Banoi. Came highly recommended by colleagues and random strangers who I just met on the street and I said, hey, have you heard of Banoi? And they go, um, no. And I said, it sounds good to me because I don't want to be anywhere that anyone is. You know, the two things you need for zombie infections, you need stupidity and you need plebs. I'm gonna just do my best to get off this island, go back to my day job because I'm not getting paid for this. You see, I could stop the zombie apocalypse here, but I'm not getting paid for this. I've got to maintain my own weapons. Normally I've got like professionals. What is wrong with that rock? Why is the texture so stretched? This is the definitive edition. Med kit. I don't need a med kit. Yeah, I know how to kick. I'm a professional. You know, I was doing this job once in uh, South America and there was a, zombie, a small zombie outbreak. Not a big one, just just like a little one. Look, look at how the way the water goes all wibbly around this definitive edition. Yeah, there was like a small outbreak in South America and I was like, okay, well, i am uh, been on the job now for about five years, and there was this corporal from the uh, the local militia, and he was like, uh, I'm not going to do an accent, and he was like, 
do you know what you're doing? And I said, yes, I, I do know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. And he goes, well, what you've got to do is you've got to kill them in the head. And it's like, I mean, that, grammatically, that doesn't make sense. You've got to hit them in the head, and you've got to kill them. You can't kill them in the head, because that implies the head is a separate thing that can be killed separate to the body. You kill the head, you kill the thing. And he was like, what are you on about? And I said, look, I'm a professional, and he just didn't believe me. Oh, bloody hell. At least it's nice and warm here. You know, that, that is something over the, um, the Alaskan outbreak. That when you wade through chest high water in Alaska, oh, God, it freezes your nipples off. I'm just sort of wandering around hitting things with sticks. Just like a golfing holiday I tried once, but I did not get along with golf. The idea of a hole in one, I mean, it, that's how they pitched it. They were like, oh, you like shooting zombies in the head. And it's like, no, actually, I use bladed weapons. And they said, oh, well, if you like shooting zombies in the head, it's like, I don't use guns. They said, oh, then you'd love golf. It's all about getting a hole in one. It's like, okay, does it have bladed weapons? Now I use a club. Like, do you, do you even know me at all? I don't have many friends. I mean, most of them don't believe me when I say I'm a professional zombie hunter. I mean, admittedly, half of them don't believe the zombie part, half of them don't believe the professional part. They think I do it just for fun, and... But I'm very bad at it for some reason. I don't know why. It's like, I've survived. That's generally the, uh, the, the big sign that you're good at zombie hunting, is that... Oh god, sorry, just stare at the sky. Um, yeah, the, the sign... Oh, of course I am, yeah. Obviously, there's nothing out there that I could want. Yeah, generally the sign of a bad zombie hunter is that they're dead, but a good zombie hunter is alive long enough to say, I'm a professional zombie hunter. Oh, this looks like a good sign. Bloody professional. You just wait until I get a bladed weapon. You think I'm doing well so far? Where did my hammer go? I threw it. Oh yeah, <laughs> forgot about that. Oh, fuck. Sorry, sorry, you made me jump, sir. I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. Really, I give you my sincere apologies. You made me jump. Don't do that. Whew. Well, it's not gonna go towards that then. Stop exploding! Hey look! The blood is floating above the bonnet! Definitive edition! Free from any bugs and errors from the previous game. I'm so glad they remastered this. It is, it is pretty fun having a job where I can legitimately throw hammers at people and I don't get arrested. Because the police has already collapsed by the time I get there. What? <laughs> Arse shot. Sorry, I do apologise. Please, please do, uh, please get up. Arse kick. <laughs> oh, come on, I was just playing with you. The, the, the upgrade and weapon system in this is absolute flaming bollocks. It's that um, you can repair things by spending money. So you'll be at, like a workshop in the sewers in a city filled with zombies and you're like, well, I want to repair my sword. $700 golden. So it's a, an absurd system. It makes absolutely no sense. They don't even try and justify it. Sorry, I don't have a driver's license? That's something I don't have. I've got a zombie hunting license, but not a driver's license. What does that tell you? Oh, I do like to drive beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to drive beside the sea. Oh, I do like to speed along empty roads. Okay, well that wasn't quite the plan. I didn't see the bus there. I mean, I didn't see the pedestrian. Yeah, sorry, that's the excuse. He ran out in front of me. There was no way to... Oh! Bloody hell! Don't do that! I was so close to just hitting you. If that rock wasn't there, you would be dead. Hi. Oh, thank goodness. John! John, you're gonna be okay. His name was Linwood. Here, take what you need out of the trunk. Laurie and Linwood Weaver. Look, Linwood. It says Linwood. Why did you call him John? I really feel like I was going to be scammed there. I feel like the fact that she was wearing a bikini was part of the scam. You know what they say, if you're ever wearing a bikini during an emergency, you're scamming someone. That's, uh, that's what my old supervisor told me before I quit the Lifeguard Association. <laughs> because he was fired in disgrace. <laughs> Where am I going? Oh, there's a box here. Maybe there's something useful. Do you think there's whiskey-flavoured soap somewhere? You know, you get whiskey butter. 
And honestly, butter and soap, they're just interchangeable. That's what my culinary teachers told me before they were fired in disgrace. Oh, I've not had good teachers in my life. What? Jesus. Oh! That was pretty good. So I've killed 40 people. All of these people, they were holiday goers. And now they're holiday knowers. What? I mean, it's very, um, what's the word? Optional? You know, finding survivors. Like sometimes, if they're just a bit too rude to me, then there are no survivors. You know what they say? You need to move on. From your inability to kick a beach ball. Definitive edition. High quality. Mmm. I mean, that's that's what keeps me going, really. It's the energy drinks. I'm basically constantly high on energy drinks. Copa. Copa Jim's banner. He built it before he died and then got left in Utopia at the Copa. Copa James Banner. What's in here? Alcohol. Shockingly. This lovely swimming area full of slides and corpses. Just like my spring break. I've had a tortured life. You don't become a zombie hunter because you have a happy life. You know? You become a zombie hunter because you're good at killing zombies and you somehow met zombies to be good at killing them. Can I climb this ladder? No. No, I can't. My father never taught me to climb ladders. He said, um, daughter, because I'm, you know, I'm female. Um, daughter, when you encounter a ladder in life, you must simply look at it and furrow your brow because that is the only way you will ever succeed in life. And I said, Father, I just want to know how to climb a ladder. Nope. Furrow your brow. Good luck. He was not a helpful father. Well, the question of whether I need help, that's, um, that's a much deeper question. Depends in what context you mean. If you mean, as far as with the gameplay, I'm probably good. As far as my psychological state, because I'm constantly talking about killing zombies, that's debatable. How long have you been stabbing people now? Are you sure psychological help will do anything? Well, that's like saying, how long has that mountain been there? I'm sure pickaxes won't do anything. You know, it chips away at it. Every little helps when you're trying to topple a mountain hand or rehabilitate a zombie murderer. Um, hunter. Deodorant. A large nail. And a broomstick. And a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Zedmus, my zombie hunter gave to me an energy drink he found in a bin. Where am I? Watch this, watch this. Rah! Rah! God, you're no fun. You're just no fun, Cinemoy. Give people their goddamn privacy! I'm sick of people not giving privacy! Is there anyone in here? Hello? It's the police! Oh, fuck me! Jesus, I hate when it does that. Uh, diving knife, nails... Rest up and then head out to meet my wife. Okay, she's probably dead. If she's anything like you, she's definitely dead. Uh, oh my god! Sorry, you moved. <laughs> very, very slightly made me jump. Oh my god! Sorry. I wasn't watching you change. I was here for the energy drink, and you just happened to be in the way. Delicious energy drink. Mmm. Keeps me alive, keeps me breathing. Keeps my heart beating, like... <laughs> 20 times a second. Put them, put them, put them, put them. That's my heart after all these energy drinks. Oh, there. Cool. Oh, and a delicious energy drink to get that heart rate pumping. Put them, put them, put them, put them, put them. Maybe that's why I keep blacking out. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Dum bum bum bum. Give him two lips. Like roses and clover, bum bum bum, and tell him that his zombie nights are over. Cause I'll kill him. I'll kill him good, bum 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 bum. 
Fucking nailed you, didn't I? Didn't even need the nailed mod. Oh, oh that's your arm. You okay? You feeling alright? Your arm looks a little bit droopy. No, no, it looks fine. You okay? Oh no, that's definitely broken. You should see a doctor. Good news. I'm Dr. Payne. Are you okay? Sorry, you sort of ruined my joke there because you kept wibbling. You couldn't decide if you were standing or sitting or crawling. Is there anyone indoors? Hello? Knock, knock, knock. It's your friendly neighborhood. I'm going to murder you. Oh, Yorick. I knew him. Kicked him in the face. Oh, I needed that. <clears throat> Surrender your souls. They don't belong to you. I'll take this. Mmm. I needed that. My caffeine. My blood caffeine level was getting dangerously safe. Hi. Hey. Oh, you fucker. I can't believe he threw something at me. You little shit. Don't throw things at people unless they're. unless I'm the one doing the throwing. You know how this works. One rule for me, one rule for literally everything else in the universe. That's how sense works. What? It's, a, it's an early access game, really, so uh, not my thing, not my bag. A learning that spiders apparently rule the world. Uh, no, no, it doesn't rule the world, it's just one. Finding out that spiders rule the world is too much for me. I'm not playing the game. <laughs> my life. <laughs> ah, that was fun. Wait, you could drive here? Then why did you say, oh, go by the beach is much quicker and safer, mate? Instead, it's like, ah, oh, take my car. Do I get my prize nice now? Nice job, mate. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. Why did Hell you... don't come soon. We're gonna have to head to town. Yep, hopeless forever. Can I climb this? <gasps> I eventually learned how to climb ladders. Dominic, you taught me how to climb ladders. I'm, I'm forever in your debt. You did more for me than my father ever did. What do I do now? Go up. How? Oh. <laughs> Is that easy? Ah, oh, Dominic. I may love you. I'm doing it, Dominic. I'm doing it. I'm climbing the ladder. Ah. Oh. Is this what it feels like to be God? I thought we had something. Oh. I think Dominic just broke up with me. Well, that was short lived. <laughs> Fucking hell. Now, how do I climb down? Dominic? Oh. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. Hey, I'm Dominic. I know. Yes. 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 All right. Excellent. Yes. Bring it back as soon Dominic. As you can. I'll do anything for you. Even though we sort of broke up, you're now my ex, but... God damn it, I love you. The things you've done for me, Dominic. There will never be anyone better. Alright, catch around, mate. I heard this scourge came from outer space. From who, Wayne? From who? I won't go in there with those things still bumping around. Take them out! Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> I was not expecting to turn around and see it charging me. That did make me jump. <laughs> your help, oh no, I was in a hotel. By now. Bloody walking corpses. Yep. Just spread that round. I'm the reason everyone's alive. Just spread it round. Really, really help my cred when I get off this island. She seems pretty calm. She's also barely dressed. Seriously, there are no t-shirts you can give these people? I know it's hot, but... Why is every single woman in a bikini, hmm? <laughs> she could lie in a more dignified way, Jack. She doesn't seem like she's in a good way. Do you want me to go, go get that medicine? Why are you looking at me like that? Just because I stole all the painkillers. Yeah, fucking didn't get me. Saw you coming a mile off. Professional. How many times? Yeah, I heard you're coming a mile off, you infected nub. By the way, if you do have an infected nub, see a doctor. I really begin to feel like I'm losing control of what I'm doing. Do you ever get that? Oh shit, I'm drowning. <laughs> Anybody around here? Anybody need a killing? 
Can't see you in the bushes, buddy. Ow! I said I couldn't see you in the bushes, let me come out of the bushes. Don't keep fucking hitting me from the bushes, you prick. Anyway, where was I? I see someone in the bushes. I haven't had anything to drink for quite a while. There were literally two energy Did drinks right there. Some water? What about you, Anne Snyder? Why do you get a surname and nobody else does, hmm? Are you important to the plot, Snyder? I'm Annie, and I'm looking for my teddy bear. What? I can't fall asleep without him, and I'm very tired. And those monsters keep knocking. What? Will you find my teddy bear? What is going on? Sickle? Yeah. Holy crap. I am now the god of death. Why do I always become the god of Let's death? Open this up. A very small god of death. <laughs> Size doesn't matter, Drake. Come on. Whoppa, whoppa, whoppa. Hurry it up. These fuckers are starting to stink. Be more respectful when you're talking to the god of death. See my sickle? Mmm, yeah. You look terrified. I can see your nostrils flaring. It is time to enact some god of death on these poor, unsensed souls. Let us descend upon them like the carrion upon the field of battle. And say yay. I will slash your head fucking clean. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Don't make me jump. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like right from a high to a low immediately. Bloody hell. Whew, I'm okay, right. Oh, I do like to drink energy drinks. Oh, I do like to drink them by the sea. Oh, I do like to drink them while cutting off heads with my mini scythe. Okay. Now you're dead. Bloody hell. I am the god of death. Look at that. I'm getting worse at judging when they're dead. Isn't this the sort of thing that goes the other way? You start off being like, oh, I can never tell. And then within a few minutes, you're like, oh, yeah, now I can tell. But instead, it's the opposite way. It's me going, oh, I used to be an amazing judge of death. Je death judge. Jeff Dudge, they called me. Jeff Dudge. All right, let's try chugging them on the face. Shush, I'll get to you in a moment. Amazing physics engine. Definitive edition. All bugs fixed. Are you super impressed with me now? Are you going to give me all of your money? All of your money and valuables. That wasn't a request. I have the weapons you don't. Get out of the way! Okay, time to go back and burn people. I mean, zombies. I mean... Yeah, zombies. I was right that time. Oh! God, driving in this game is shit. Turn right! Kill you! Ow. Turn left now. Turn left. Turn left for fuck's sake. Bloody hell, this piloting and driving and dis definitive edition. No bugs or dodgy controls here. Definitive. Hurry it up. These fuckers are stupid. What were you saying? Hmm? What was that, Mike? Do you want to say that again? Do you want to say that to my Ripper? No? Didn't think so. Uh, sickle. Repair for $153. Yep, I throw $153 at a sickle and it just gets better. Thank you very much for watching. I guess I'll leave it there rather than go off and start another quest. I will catch you later. We'll be back for more reaping. Bye-bye.